Thousands of actors, producers, and directors are in China for the second annual Beijing Film Festival. Avatar director James Cameron and actor Keanu Reeves are among those attending. And as Bloomberg's Margaret Conley tells us, many in Hollywood think China could be the next frontier for the movie industry. Tinseltown has come to China. Five days of wheeling and dealing with scripts and stars. Producers, directors, and distributors from China and the U.S. are increasingly looking for ways to collaborate on projects. Avatar director James Cameron is among them. He says he's looking into the pros and cons of making films here in China. There are a number of, of metrics that need to be met uh, in terms of content and uh, uh, approvals of script and so on that we also need to look at. We need to weigh those factors very carefully. Now, a lot of people and big corporations have been trying to crack this market for a while. Just last week, Disney and Beijing-based DMG Entertainment announced a deal to co-produce Iron Man 3 in China. This highlights the potential of the re-release of Titanic 3D. James Cameron's blockbuster got a lukewarm reception in the West. The 3D version has been China's biggest opening in history, grossing $67 million so far. Box office revenues in the U.S. fell by 3.5% last year to just over $10 billion. China, meanwhile, grew by 30 percent to $2 billion. China is now the third largest movie market after the U.S. and Japan. And studios get greater share. The amount studios can keep from box office receipts has gone up from 13 percent to 25 percent. With ticket sales in China on the rise, it's an attractive market for Hollywood. But there are still challenges. Censors forbid depictions of ghosts, excessive violence in sex, and criticism of the Communist Party. But ending on a note of hope for Chollywood, China's government has recently increased the number of foreign films allowed here each year to 34. Margaret Conley Bloomberg, Shanghai.